I think graduates should look strong CBI, number one, because of the unparalleled access you get um, in terms of the access and exposure you get to both senior business leaders, uh, CEOs, as well as senior members in government is one of the top reasons why at the age of 24 as a relatively recent graduate in a junior position, I don't think there's another organisation which can give you the access uh, that the CBI does. Through a placement at the CBI, you get exposure to the big issues that are going on uh, every day, every world, like the big issues that matter, um, which I don't think other organisations get the opportunity to deal with. So you get the unique mix from business and politics, uh, and at a relatively young age you get exposure to that in terms of whether it's dealing with related issues to Brexit, whether it's you know delivering infrastructure for the next generation, making sure the skills of the future workforce are up to date, the future of business around automation uh, and AI. Uh, when you, if you're a placement student, you get to work on these issues, uh, which I think is unparalleled. One of the key things if you want to be an applicant to CBI is you've got to be a people person. You've got to be willing to speak to people from across the business, whether that's commercial colleagues, people in events, or the senior management team from time to time. And also externally as well, you're meeting CEOs of companies, senior government figures. So being a people person and comfortable it, it, interacting like that I think is really important. In one word I would describe the recruitment process as personal. I think if you've brushed up on your CV and, and delivered that and then I think you've got a real chance to shine at interview as well. At the CBI compared to a lot of big graduate uh, employers is a relatively small company which is positive because they can really look at you as an individual person and take on your merits. So in one word, personal. I think the current political climate makes the CBI all the more relevant and, and a more exciting and better place to work. Every day you come in, you see what's on the news and that, and that impacts your day-to-day -day job. So it's so dynamic and fast changing that in the environment which is, which is ever changing, it makes the job even more exciting. So you've got to be reactive, keep on top of your brief uh, and be flexible and willing to adapt. Well, I've just completed a big report piece of work which meant I got to go out into the regions, every single region of the UK and speak to businesses one on one which is really rewarding and then when I got to the final write up uh, it got onto the second page of a national newspaper so it's really rewarding to see words you've put to paper um, out there in the space and you can talk to friends, family about yeah that, that's something I did uh, in a national newspaper so that's really rewarding. I think the biggest challenge CBI faces is making sure we can say to people why business matters um, and that it's not just about the business community itself. The CBI stands for what's called the prosperity agenda and why business matters for the whole economy and is really valuable. And I think in changing times, you've got uh, you know, lots of popular sentiment and so making sure the CBI is relevant and we can stand up for the business community in a positive way um, is a big challenge which the CBI is at the forefront of and why the value of business and why business matters.